Hi Cancer, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the first half of October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for coming back and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning, thank you for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. Uh, so please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you and welcome. Those who have reached out for personal reading, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with a tip or a donation to the channel is very much appreciated. Your support really means a lot to me so I can do these free readings for you. So any support uh, given to the channel uh, really helps it to grow and flourish. And thank you for being a part of that. So thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is for Cancer. Love Connection reading, the first part of October. Can you believe we are in October already? Where is time going? So I have uh, a new setup here, new angle, a new mat for my table. So I hope everybody uh, can see the cards okay. And I am now decorated for Halloween. So happy early Halloween, everyone. So I hope everybody's doing well. So what do we have for Cancer Spirit for the first half of October? first half of October all right if you're returning you know how this works if you're new this is a zodiac oracle and we may get a sign planet element see wait what may some of you be dealing with if not if you don't resonate with what comes out here totally fine you only as within any reading take what resonates throw away the rest I'm getting a lot of comments that's not my story this this that then it's not your reading, so <laughs> don't take every single little thing to heart. Um, you only take to heart what resonates for you. All right, right there, Gemini. So some cancers may be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini. Why does that look blurry? Okay, I thought it was blurry. Maybe it's just me. Okay, Gemini, so air sign or they could have Gemini heavily in their chart if it's not their sun sign, if you know their chart at all. Okay, so I'm um, trying to shuffle more quietly. I've had someone comment that the shuffling was very loud and hard on their ears, so that's the first time I ever got that um, comment, so <laughs> trying to shuffle more quietly now. Okay, so let's get if my cards will shuffle. Let's get an overall love connection energy for you and your person. And this can be any type of connection with anybody you have in mind at this time. So whoever you have in mind and any kind of uh, connection. All right, so let's get for you Cancer, an overall love connection energy. And that's two, no, I just want one. Sometimes they stick in my hand and when I'm shuffling and it's like spirits like that's the card, that's the card. So that's your card. So we have attentive. Number 40, which is 404, which is about stability, basis, foundation, attentive. So you may be very, um, oh no, alter alternative. I can't even read. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Alternative. I don't know why that said attentive. So alternative here, hmm, that's kind of telling you uh, maybe to look at alternatives. I don't know. Let me just see what the deck, the book has to say here. Um, nope, that's not it. So there are lots of alternatives to Western medicine. Consider taking a holistic approach to something troubling you at present okay well this is a love reading so uh hmm well i'm just getting here alternative there may be some sort of alternative you may have to look at in your connection if that makes any sense or maybe you have a couple of choices and you're trying to decide which one you know, are you alternating between two lovers? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Oh, 
All right, so let's get, we'll see how it plays out. I mean, that could mean anything, whatever you're going through. If you're going through something now with your uh, connection, maybe this is telling you to take an alternative route and how you're dealing with the connection. Um, or if you, yeah, it could be either uh, seeking an alternative route into sorting something out or the way you're dealing with something or um, maybe even meaning um, there may be somebody else for you other than this person. So, well, I wanted to, so here's two. Okay, so let's see how you are feeling uh, towards your person and the connection cancer. Oh, so we have negativity. Okay, so I see where this is going. So we have 17, which is eight. Eight is about taking action, movement. So I'm feeling that you're feeling there's negativity in this connection. And maybe that's why you're seeking alternative here, alternative route, alternative, some sort of alternative here. And it's like you need a time out, you need a rest, you need to um, spend some time on your own to think about this. I feel like you're feeling very uh, weighed down and burning, burdened from the negative energy in this connection. Oh boy. And they have, oh, they have seat seclusion. So <laughs> 24, which is six. Six is usually a healing, balancing number. So maybe they're needing to go off on their own also to find their balance to do some healing and it's like you need that kind of energy also like you need to take action but to go alone here wow okay so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck positive minded people so this is either telling you to um be around more positive minded people because it seems like in your connection you're feeling negativity for some reason with this person and this connection. And they're, they're wanting to go off on their own also. So this is telling you to get around more positive minded people here, which is 23, which is five, which is change. And that could be the alternative here is change. So, oh boy, Cancer. All right, so let's see what's going on, Cancer. I know the past couple of readings I did were very positive, so this may be tapping into a new group of uh, cancers or cancerians. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what's going on here for you, Cancer. First half of October, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What's going on with Cancer? First half of October, why is negativity here? For cancer, why is negativity here for cancer? Wait, I think I'm just gonna put this right here so I have more room. All right, why is King of Pentacles? So, you know, this is a very stable, secure, grounded offer. Um, well, not an offer, but person. It's very smart, analytical, stable, secure, growth, abundance. Oh. I feel like you're a very stable person and you just can't take this negative energy either from your person here or just in the connection in general. I, I, I don't know. You are a water sign, but this is earth energy. So if your person is not a Gemini, uh, they could be an earth sign or that is just your energy. It's Virgo Taurus Capricorn. All right, so why does your person have seat seclusion here? Wow, oh my God. <laughs> Cancer, death. So, yeah, this is ending, ending something and then transforming and then having something new. So, yeah, they're feeling like this is over, this is done. They're wanting to go off on their own seek seclusion they just want to be it's like they just want to be left alone here it's like they kind of know it's over and done and they just want to scorpio energy there they, they just want to be left alone and go off on their own here oh boy okay so let's get more clarity for you why why is the king of pentacles here for you 
it's either they're an earth sign, but we have earth, Scorpio, Gemini over there. So, I mean, it could be anybody, but I feel like just to, uh, for you with this negativity and this person, like, oh my God, I've had enough. I just need to go off on my own here. It's like, it's like maybe what is needed. That's the alternative that's needed to keep your sanity, your balance, your security, your stability. All right, so Cancer, why is the King of Pentacles here for Cancer? Well, now we got the Queen of Cups, so that's your energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So we have King and Queen here. So maybe, maybe you have somebody else on your mind, and that's the alternative. <laughs> maybe your alternative is uh, an Earth sign that you truly love, and not this person, negative person over here. And they could be Scorpio or Gemini. Um, but this is love, emotions, uh, sure energy. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Why do the why does your person have death here? Why does your person have death here? Cancer's person. Well, we got the Eight of Wands here. Hmm. This is fiery, passionate communication. Um, movement, action, travel, uh, communication over the internet, perhaps. Oh. I'm getting the message that they're shooting their arrows at somebody else, and you have somebody else in mind also. And that could be why this connection is ending, because you both have alternatives. <laughs> wow. I don't know if that's a certain situation for some here, but it's kind of the message I'm getting. Wow, that's a lot of energy. So let's see if we can get the actual situation, what's going on here. And I don't know if this is somebody, um, I don't know if you've just been in a long-term relationship with this person. That could be the King of Pentacles. It's usually a long-term energy. So maybe this is someone you've just been with for a very long time. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is here. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, you know, working hard, mastering your craft, dedicated effort. Pentacles are very slow moving, long-term energy again. So yeah, really trying to work this out, work at it. A very long time with the Eight of Pentacles energy. What else? Knight of Wands. So, you know, this is... Uh, Taking action, movement forward, fiery, passionate action, movement, being determined. But it's also an in and out energy. So I don't know, let's get one more. It's connecting the two of you. So maybe, you know, with the King of Pentacles energy here, you want stability, security, somebody who is going to be there, you know, for a long-term commitment that will work at it and not come in and out with this player energy. So maybe you were dealing with a player here and maybe you told him, hey, you know, uh, I can't take this negative energy of you come in, you leave, you come in, you leave, and it leaves me in this, you know, space. And they just decided here to end it to go off on their own. And maybe they're shooting their arrows at many other people here with the Eight of Wands energy. All right, so let's get one more for the situation. Well, we have the sun. So Leo energy. So this is joy, happiness, success, victory, enlightenment, uh, expansion, growth. I mean, everything, happy home and family. It's everything positive with the sun. It's on their side. <laughs> I just got this really weird message that their happiness is spreading around, you know, how do I say it? You know, being a player, spreading around their, you know, manhood. And maybe they have many children. I don't know. Because <laughs> you see, you know, shooting arrows here and children. So maybe they have uh, children with many other women. And maybe you found that out and said, hey, you know what? Uh, that's not my kind of happiness of this in and out player energy. You know, I want security. I want stability. I want somebody who will put in the dedicated effort and work with me for long term. That's what the King of Pentacles there is someone who does commit long term. 
do you have a lot of love, emotion, security to give to somebody here? All right, so let's get more clarifiers in this situation. More clarifiers for the situation, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Wow. So <laughs> we have the Tower and we have the Five of Pentacles. So, yeah, I think here with we have Aries and we have Earth again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, yeah, I think you told them you brought this Tower moment and you told them how it is, what you want, how you don't like their energy of coming in and out here. And deciding to, again, Five of Pentacles energy being abandoned, left out in the cold, um, neglected. So I, f I feel like here you just kind of told them, hey, if you can't come in here and be, be my King of Pentacles, then I think that this is just the end. This is it. And because now they're left out in the cold over here. Maybe they're trying to come back in. Because you do see, you know, the Cupid's arrows there and this person like begging. So, I mean, maybe they've come back begging, trying to like woo you after a time of being apart. Maybe, you know, maybe they did realize that you are their uh, happiness and joy here with the sun energy. But they still have this player energy in the middle of your spread here. So, I don't know if they could change. So let's see what your advice is. Um, what is your advice, Cancer? What is Cancer's advice in this situation? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. We have the Ace of Pentacles. That's your stability, your security. That's a brand new beginning. Oops. And my cards are flying. Uh, and we have the Seven of Swords. So this is that tricky, lying, deceitful air energy. So there could have been a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Tricky, sneaky, can't be trusted energy. And you know that. They may come try to come back here, try to woo you, say you're really my happiness, but they still have this player energy in the middle of your spread. So I don't, I don't think, you know, they may come in, you know, all sunshiny and try to woo you but I don't think you'll have it here because I don't think they can change their ways here with the seven of swords and I think you know that so your advice is to be aware of that and to hold out for your brand new beginning somebody who will commit long term who will offer you this pentacle this commitment and grow for the long term and be very stable and grounded all right so Let's get more clarity here for your advice. Because you see this person looking at the pentacle, like, you know, they're just going to, yeah, like, cut it with the sword. <laughs> so, yeah, they're looking at that pentacle like, yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> and that's what you truly want. All right, so let's get more clarifiers for cancer. All right, so we have the King of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So your advice here is to hold out for your King of Wands that can give you the Ten of Cups. And it's not this Gemini or this Earth sign, I feel. I think it may be a fire sign that you may uh, have on your mind here, somebody you may meet, or somebody uh, could be somebody else you're dating or you have your eyes on or something like that. But there's somebody coming in here or somebody you, you know connected to or could meet in the future that will give you everything that you want and desire. All the happiness and joy, happy home and family. Fulfillment in every single way. Passion, love. And they could be a fire sign. Leo, Sag, or Aries. So your advice is no, no more of this energy. Sneaky, tricky energy is to hold out for what you truly want, desire, and you deserve here with the Ace of Pentacles. Could be a fire sign for some of you. All right, so let's see what the outcome will be. What the outcome will be for you, Cancer. What the outcome will be for you, Cancer. 
what is the outcome for cancer the star so this whoever this is if this is a fire sign it's fate it's destiny it's meant to be it's aligned it's uh hope stay uh positive have faith hope and optimism this is healing energy divinely guided energy with the star have patience and divine here is going to send you your fiery ten of cups person here and it's meant to be be a soulmate here all right so let's get more clarity here more clarity for you cancer with the star divinely guided soulmate the fire sign or a water sign but I don't think it's a pentacle or a um, sword. So now we have the King of Cups. So here's your energy again. So, and I had just said, I felt like it, it's either going to be a fire sign for some of you or a water sign for some of you. And that is also your energy with the King of Cups energy. So, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, someone loving caring nurturing giving sometimes they may not be overly affectionate but they do have love and emotions that run deep and they may show it to you uh, maybe not through affection and a lot of affectionate words but in what they do uh, for for you you know like protecting you and doing things for you and things like that all right so let's get one more so judgment so yeah you'll have to decide it even if you may even have a choice between two people in the future a cup and a uh, fire sign and a water sign and you may have to decide here with the judgment card scorpio energy here making a final decision judgment call this is also about forgiveness of the past can speak of resurrection but i don't think you'll be resurrecting anything here uh that has to do with the past and now we have the page of wands too that fell out. So definitely feel like passionate message coming forward um, from either a cup or a water or a fire sign. Passionate messages, offers, communication. Hmm. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom. Four of wands. So now we have commitment, happy home and family, stability, the four of fire energy peace and harmony coming in so you will have your long-term commitment it will come in for you and it'll be somebody much more stable and i don't think it's this pentacle i just think this new person will come in and offer you this ace of pentacles here of what you truly want desire and wish for here could be commitment um could be marriage in the future You know, three of pentacles, so working together, um, teamwork, collaboration. So you may meet them through work, through a friend, or something like that. Yeah, you're, you, you'll heal over this heartache or pain that this other person caused you with the star energy right here. So you will heal over that. And there's your fiery, passionate new beginning. Lots of passion, fire, excitement, healing over the past heartaches. You may meet them through friends or work. They'll be very stable, secure, awful long-term commitment, and even marriage possibly in the future. Wow, Cancer. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you, Cancer. Extra messages for you, Cancer. Extra messages and guidance for you, Cancer. All right, what do we have for Cancer? What other messages do we have for Cancer and this love connection? So we have Let Your Light Shine, which is number 45, which is nine, about wishes, dreams, hopes coming true. It's being true to yourself, being true to who you are, holding out for what you want, what you deserve in life, not dimming your light for anyone. And then we have variance. So yeah, you're feeling um, 
you're feeling out of sorts, you don't feel balanced. This is feeling like confused, discombobulated, like not feeling like something's right. So you're not feeling like, I think you truly know this person that you're dealing with uh, is not the right one for you. I think deep down you know that. You don't feel 100% with them. Anything else? Yeah, let go. <laughs> yep, let go of this person. It's sort of like the Ace of Swords there. That big sword, Ace of Swords for your brand new beginning. True clarity, um, 18, 9. For you, you know, your wishes and your dreams and your hopes in the future is you need to let go of this person and have your brand new, uh, honest new beginning here. With this uh, Ace, which is sort of like the Ace of Swords there. So, yeah, need to let go of this person. Expansion. So, we have, you know, expanding your horizons, expanding your thought process, your choices, uh, your life, you know, it may be by expanding all things in your life. This is, this may be how you meet this new person if you haven't met them already. Maybe doing things you've never done before, getting out there, uh, going places, doing things, broadening your horizon. I feel you will meet your soulmate, possibly twin flame of the four of wands there. Okay, Cancer, so uh, if this didn't resonate for you, you could check the description box below for past playlists and maybe something there will resonate for you. I do consider them all timeless, so if something catches your eye, I say watch it anyway and disregard the um, dates on them. Good luck to you here in your situation, and if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Liking the video will help to circulate the videos to get them out to the people who need to hear them. And if you subscribe, hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs. That's four readings a month, so please don't miss out on that. So I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.